Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today we're checking out Teddy's build. Now what Teddy has done is he found a pre-built structure to kind of work around. And up first, I mean, this has got to be one of the coolest little things ever. Because you got the teddy bears making a, a little hangout spot inside a doghouse. And I'm pretty sure they've been drinking... And I got money on the one that's passed out is probably going to get some stuff drawn on his face. And then, of course, the other teddy at the table is just passed out and smashed his face against that table. So, it, it looks like they were partying pretty hard. And one nice little added touch is the, the giant dead skeleton on top of it. Because uh, I'm assuming he partied a little too hard. You got the neat little uh, birdhouse over here, which is a nice touch, but really... The huge thing that is awesome is the the drunk teddy bears. Well, that's assuming they're drunk. I don't know, but I'd like to imagine that's the case. And if you haven't figured it out already, this is the April Fool's part of the video. And now we'll move on to the actual crazy camp. Now we're checking out Titanium Chopper's build. Now, I will say this isn't the craziest camp we've ever seen. But there is something in it that I just absolutely loved, and I just wanted to share it with everybody. Now, one, one thing that is pretty darn cool is the theme of the camp. This whole thing is themed as a mining operation. So, let's get in here, get that door closed. Get the little vending machine over here. And that right there, that is freaking cool, and we will get to it in a minute. And I'm going to be talking about it off and on repeatedly. I, I won't be able to help it. Plenty of mining themed objects on display. Of course you got all the different types of ore sitting over here. And then the restroom area is really nice for the fact that you got all the lockers set up. It feels far more appropriate than just your standard bathroom. I'm going to head back out and close the door so we can see the other display a little better. Of course, you got the shovel and pickaxe up there on the wall. Now, back here, just a bunch of workbenches. You know, the functional area that you really kind of need in your build. But this elevator right here, this is what won me over. It is really rare to see elevators in camps that people have made. Of course, we got the break room over here. Pretty nice, but... Touching back on the elevator. Again, I, I saw that and I was like, oh. Yep, that's that's freaking cool. Now, I've seen a few elevators, but they're really rare. I remember back when people were building the elevators out of the windmill generator. I haven't seen that done in a while. But, of course, back here, a little storage area. I love that it's all walled off so you can't actually go back there. And then we got the minecarts going right here. And he's built like a little makeshift track for the minecarts to lead to and from the elevator shaft. Another thing that was pretty darn cool was how he utilized the shelter entrance. And it's kind of weird because while I have the shelter entrance, I never really paid much attention to it. And... It just kind of slipped my mind that there's that little chute coming off of it. And then once I saw his minecart up against it, I went, oh my gosh. that That's a really nice use of that entrance. But now let's make our way back to the elevator because that is a huge reason this made it into this week's video. I just love it. And you can hop on the elevator... Just a really cool thing. That's going to wrap up the tour of his camp. Huge thank you to Titanium Chopper for letting me share it with all of you. Now, if you've got a crazy camp that you want to share, all you got to do, hop down in the comments, let me know, give me your gamertag brief description of your camp. I will try to check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.